What up and welcome back inside the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. You're stuck with me again, Stephen Nelson, hanging out with you guys on this show that is designed specifically for you, the baseball fan. We'll have special guests inside the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, and you have the opportunity to ask them really anything you want. All these guys will say, I'm an open book. Fire at me. There are two ways you could do that. You hit the green button, you sign up, or you sign in if you're new. And then we see your face and hear your voice. You can ask them directly. The other way is go on social media on Twitter and tweet with the hashtag chatting cage. Again, hashtag chatting cage. Any question you want, got the Twitter feed right here, and I will read it to our special guest. And today, this one's special guest is Trevor Hildenberger of the Minnesota Twins, who's uh, joining us now in Minnesota. First and foremost, Trevor, those unis are sick. Yeah, I love them. Uh, I like the powder blue. I hope we wear them more often, actually. It, the saying, you know, it's, it's thrown around a lot, look good, feel good, play good. Does that apply <laughs> in the big leagues when you have 162 of those games? Yeah, 100%, I think so. I think uh, I try to keep a good, clean uniform. Teammates tease me because I never clean my sunglasses enough. <coughs> um, they're always, they always have stuff on them, dried dirt, sunscreen, stuff like that, so... Uh, I guess I could do a better job, but, yeah, I believe in that. Look good, feel good, play good. Trevor, are, are you a messy person? Uh, <laughs> debatable. I think my apartment and my room are messy, but I keep my car pretty clean, my locker pretty clean. So I guess it depends. Organized chaos, right? That's, what, that's how I describe <laughs> it when things get a little crazy exactly. at home. Even if it looks dirty, I know where everything is, so that's, that's what's important. I'm with you. I'm with you, Trevor. Okay, let's get to the questions here on social, and I think this one ties in pretty nicely. We're not going to bury the lead here. This is from Alyssa. Okay. You talk about being ne messy and having craziness at home. You're going to have to adjust that because, as Alyssa points out, you just got engaged. How did you propose did. to your now fiancé? Uh, well, it didn't go according to plan uh -oh. exactly, but... Um, it turned out well. I think we were driving uh, towards YZ, which is like 20 minutes outside Minneapolis. And I had this whole plan of like, we're going to take a walk by Lake Minnetonka, mm. um, get something to eat afterwards. We had reservations like late at night after the sun went down. The sun was supposed to go down around 830. So we went over there early. Uh, it was really hot. I was in like jeans and a polo. It was, I was sweating. <laughs> Um, so I was like, all right, we got to go inside. Let's get a bite to eat. Um, let's get a drink. Like, let's cool off a little bit. So we went inside. We actually sat down at this nice French place. The menu looked really good, uh -oh. really approachable. So like, okay, let's call an audible. Let's eat dinner here. And then we'll walk after. It's like 7.15, so we got an hour plus. Mm -hmm. Great. Eating dinner. Everything's great. Uh, get done with dinner. Okay, let's go for a walk. So we walk across the street, go to the lake, and there's no paths. There's no trail. There's no beach there's nothing to walk on by the lake it's like a <laughs> rocky shore and then boats docked and then like cliffs like there's nothing so i was like oh god let's go back to the car let's try to find some other place to walk so we went to the car we drove around the lake we found this trail that was called locust hills trails uh followed that for a little bit turned out it was just a living community not actual trails uh, and by this point the sun is gone it is pitch black Things and are going great. My girlfriend, yeah, my girlfriend's like kind of annoyed. She has yeah. to use the bathroom. So we ended up driving back into Minneapolis, go to Lake Calhoun, and I proposed lakeside there uh, in the middle of the night, basically. But um, we had the city backdrop. It was nice. It ended up, she said yes, which is the important thing. I was just going to say, is, is she said yes. Yeah, so it really doesn't matter how the rest of it went. The fact is, though, you now have a story, a story that you just shared inside the Edward Jones chatting cage. Uh, exactly. A, the, I, Im, I imagine the pictures are then beautiful then if you have Minneapolis behind you. They're very dark. We have one selfie and, and it's very dark. No flash? No flash. <laughs> no flash, no photographer. It's kind of just a moment in between us. Okay, I don't know if we're done with the engagement stuff yet, but right now I'm going to take a back seat to a fan who's joining us inside the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. So, uh, so introduce yourself and what do you have for Trevor? Hello, Mr. Hildenberger. I am Daniel from South Jersey. Congratulations on your engagement. And my question for you is, Thanks, who Daniel. is the funniest player in the Minnesota clubhouse? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I think a month ago or maybe a month and a week ago, unanimously it would have been Eduardo Escobar. Um, since he got traded, wow, that's up for debate. You know, oops, Gibby tries to talk. 
a lot. He tries to crack a lot of jokes. Uh, he's pretty funny. Um, oof. Hey, give us the front Taylor runners Rogers. who are battling for Eduardo's spot here. So, Gibby. <laughs> Gibby, Taylor Rogers, okay. uh, Matt Belisle. I think they all crack pretty good jokes. Jake Cave. Jake Cave's really lively presence okay. in that clubhouse. He cracks a lot of jokes. And Tyler Austin, too. All right. So this is the top. Who gets you, though? Uh, again, overall, might be up for debate. It's all subjective. But who's your favorite? Addison Reed. Addison Reed makes me laugh consistently almost every day. <laughs> How so? What's his shtick? <laughs> um, he just teases a lot of people. Like, nothing's off limits for him. He, yeah. he busts a lot of people's chops. It's a great time to be around. So it's Players Weekend, as you know, Trevor, and Brandon is chiming in. Hildy, I know it's just name-based, but what was there anything else that wasn't related to your last name that you considered putting on the back of your jersey? Uh, yeah, I actually intention or initially wanted a burger emoji, but I was informed that we couldn't have emojis. What? And it came out that Brad Boxberger guy had a box and a burger, so his would have been cooler anyways. Um, but I would have just used the burger emoji. Uh, i got a couple other nicknames, but I don't know if they're really jersey appropriate. That has to <laughs> given to you by Addison Reed? Given to me by a couple different people. <laughs> I, I want, it's probably a service time thing, Brad, and versus yourself for the exactly. burger emoji. You exactly. earn your I think it would be great if your teammates got to pick your nicknames. Like next year, like if a single teammate got to pick everyone's nickname or if – teammates just voted on it and you didn't get to pick your own i think that would be hilarious trevor i'm all in on that i'm all in yeah. because I, i've seen some that are you know a little basic and there's some people just even put their last name and that kind of like there's going against the grain and then there's, right. there's then there's being, being a party pooper and being a debbie downer so like, I, I like that taylor rogers in our bullpen wanted to do mr rogers but mr rogers got trademarked he tried to spell out mr got trademarked, so he just put M. Rogers, even though his last name is literally Rogers, and he's literally a Mr. Rogers. So I think next year he should do Space Needle, because Space Needle is what we call him. It's what our AAA bullpen coach called him. Like, anytime they would come out and try to signal down to the bullpen, if you don't have a bullpen phone, he'd come out, put his hat on his fist, say, Space Needle, get up, because he's just skin and bones. He's one of the skinniest guys in the league. So Trevor, I think that would be a great nickname. You are presenting not just problems and issues that face Major League Baseball important ones, you're also <laughs> presenting solutions, which I love. Okay, we're still inside the Edward Jones chatting cage with Trevor Hildenberger of the Minnesota Twins. We have another fan for you, Trev. So say hello. Good afternoon, hey. gentlemen. My name is Lou Flores, and uh, my question for Mr. Trevor is, how do you maintain the consistency with your sidearm delivery? Uh, thanks for the question, Lou. That's a really great question. Um, very it's something that I have to battle constantly, really. Um, we use a lot of video. I have coaches, my catch play partner, watch me and try to make sure I'm repeating my delivery the same thing with all my pitches every day. And um, if I'm out of sync some way, we got to make the adjustment before the game gets going. Trevor, it's time now for the EDJ question of the day, and I want you to think back. Okay, Think back to when okay. you got the call and you were drafted. Just take us through that moment the emotions, and the memories that are still with you today? When I got drafted? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was uh, I was at a barbecue for my mom's birthday, and I was actually manning the grill. And I got the call from my local scout, Elliot Strankman, uh, and I was, like, flipping sausages, and I took the call. <laughs> and he said, congratulations, we just took you in the 22nd round. I said, thank you. I'm very excited. I appreciate the opportunity, all that good stuff. And I never stopped flipping sausages. And then I hung <laughs> up. My family was like, was that it? Is that the, was that the moment? I was like, yeah, You're like, yeah, it. sausage is ready. Yeah, bratwurst. Who wants them? <laughs> that's incredible. I mean, that, sh that yeah. shows right off the bat, before you even made your pro debut, the focus that you have <laughs> and the task at hand, your ability to lock right. in and finish things Multitask, out. Multitask. Yeah. I can do it. And sausages, not burgers, that would have really, I think that would have taken the story to another level if Hildenberger was <laughs> flipping burgers at the Maybe cookout. Maybe I'll, I'll tweak it a little bit. That's right, yeah, as you get older. Yeah, cheeseburgers. Uh, Trevor Hildenberger inside the Edward Jones chatting cage for just a couple more minutes. Let's give you two more here. Kenny, did you and Ryan Presley,
coordinate proposals? Good question. No, we did not. We knew we were going to do it around the same time, close to the All-Star break. Um, I think he did. I did mine a couple days before his, but there was no coordination. Actually, when I got engaged, I tried to keep my fiance away from his future fiance so she wouldn't see the ring or get <laughs> jealous or think about it. I just we tried to keep them apart. Yeah, but that was about Smart. it. Smart. Smart. Okay, Trevor. I said two more. Two more for me, but we do have one more fan joining us inside the Edward Jones chatting cage now. What is your Great. name and what is your question? Hey, 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 Trevor. Um, my name is Albert. I'm from Florida. Um, uh, I got a, I got two questions for you. Um, my first question is, uh, who is the hardest hitter you have faced, like when you're pitching? Uh, really good question. Um, Aaron Judge is no fun to face. He <laughs> poses a threat, obviously, in the box. He doesn't chase a lot of pitches. Uh, he puts good contact, and if he hits a line drive back at you. You may not make it, so it's a little bit intimidating. Um, him and probably Francisco Lindor, the guys I have to face consistently, um, that are tough at bats always. Good All question, though. All right, Albert, number two. Okay, my second question is, um, my second question is, what, what is your, what is your favorite, like, where is your favorite state? Uh, I'm nervous. Sorry. No, you're like, good, man. You're good. It's okay, Albert. What is your favorite stadium you have played like played on, like played in? Um, I love playing at home. I'm really comfortable here. I think we pit, play well here. I pitch well here, but I love Dodger Stadium. We went to last year in interleague play. Uh, it was loud. The fans were into it. I'm from California, so it was kind of fun. Um, and then Fenway is just an unbelievable atmosphere. The fans are into it. Even during rain delays, they're having a dance party. Nobody goes anywhere. Um, they're on their feet during rallies. They make it a, a really fun, intimidating atmosphere. So those those places are cool. Twin Cities are beautiful if you ever get a chance to go. You're watching the Edward Jones Channel Cage. Like, I've never been out there. You should go because it's awesome. The walk-off question, Trevor Hildenberger, before you leave. Let's okay. settle the burger debate with Hildenberger, okay? So okay. you are from, you are born in Northern California, correct? Correct. Okay, so would you, fair to say, you're an in and out country? Yes. That's okay. Fair. I'm from Southern California, so I'm, I'm right there with you. You are okay. now playing in a city that is known for the Juicy Lucy. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. I would say two different categories of burger, but which one is your favorite? Uh, in and out. I'd rather have a double double animal style Good man. than any Juicy Lucy any day. And that's. Now, that might upset some people, but mm. Juicy Lucy's are, I mean, I, I went and waited for like an hour and a half for say one. Say it. Say the word. <laughs> I saw it was on the tip of your tongue. I saw the, I saw it's, what you were about to say. It's overrated. It's overrated a little bit. Glad you did it. Glad you said it, Trevor. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's, it's, we're native California sons. We know that it's not yeah. like the most expensive or fanciest burger you're ever going to eat, but the value no. and the taste, it's hard to beat. Hard it's to consistently beat. great. Always. Steady. Just like you were today inside the Edward Jones chatting cage. Trevor Hildenberg, I got to say, this is the first time you and I spoke. I, th I would like to consider us friends now. I think so, too. I okay. think we are friends. Uh, Trevor, Thanks congrats on. on the engagement. I'm recently married. If you need any tips on how to survive this wedding planning <laughs> process, you let <laughs> me know. But okay. until then, we thank you for taking a few moments before the ball game. Of course. Thank you. Thanks All for right. Hildy, Trevor Hildenberger of the Minnesota Twins as they host the Oakland Athletics. So he's got a tall task ahead of him. Uh, he and the Twins do. But for our special guest, Trevor, and Daniel, Lou, and Albert, all awesome. You could be them in the Edward Jones chatting cage. All you do when we pop on, you click the green button, you sign up, or you sign back in, and that could be your face. It could be your voice. And you can ask anything you want because I will allow it. Let's go off the rails. I like to live there. Okay, I'm done. For our entire crew here, I'd like to say thank you for watching the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. We'll see you next time.